everybody happy November the 1st um, today I'm going to show you how to create a range of color from one color from one one of your paints you got one of the three paint colors Um, you got a red a blue and a yellow Um, I suggest you do this with this exercise with either the red or the blue because it has got more of a variety of colors in each color now Today, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my water. I'm going to create a tiny puddle of water in the middle of my palette. Probably need a bit more than that. There you go. And I'm going to activate my paint. So I'm activating, which is, I'll use the French Ultramarine. Okay, so I have my little puddle in the palette. I'm just going to put a little bit of French Ultramarine on the tip of my brush and mix it with the water. So I've got a really, really watery mix here. Very pale and very watery. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to create a little square. Now, that has come from a really dark paint, but because it's really watery, you get a very light colour. You only Then you don't put your brush back in the water, you just put it, tip it into your paint colour again mix it with your puddle of water make sure it's well mixed in okay now do another square you can see already with just two tips of the brush you've got a change in the color so you go back in collect a little bit more mix it again with your puddle and you notice that your puddle is getting darker and darker and it's changing consistency, it's no longer really watery, it's more like a little bit tea-ish. And you make another square. You can see the variety. Remember not to put your brush back in the water, just put it into the paint. And again, another square. So with watercolour, I don't add white, nor do most watercolours. What we do is we increase our pigment levels or decrease our pigment levels of water and it works really, really well. Now, as I'm going through this, you can see that the colour is strengthening because there's more pigment in the water. The more pigment, the more colour. And the thicker, if you could see my palette, this is, it's, you can't see through the palette now. You can't see, it's just lovely and lush and dark. And the water's getting less and less and less with the pigment. Now, this time I collect some fresh pigment. Put it on. And you just, just keep going till you've basically got the colour that comes out of your tube or off your block, whatever you have. There you go. Mix it right through to make sure it goes all the way through. You get a really, really dark blue, which is more or less what you get out of your tube. Now mine is really diluted in here, so it's very hard to get thick paint. So I use it too often. I'll put this one under here. You can keep going with this until you have got a completely solid, creamy mixture. And it shows you the variety of colours all the way through. So you'd never think from that paint and that paint came from the same colour. And the only difference is I've added more water. The water, incre when it increases, it decreases the amount of pigment and you get lighter. When the water is less and you increase the pigment, it gets darker. Take your colours out, learn what your paint does and learn the variety of colours you will have. This is not colour mixing, this is just getting to know what range of colour you can get from one paint. Okay, You can then do the opposite of this. You can clean your brush. Then add a tip of water into it. Just off your brush, not by spraying. And you can start to do the opposite. You can work your way across, clean your brush, just the tiniest amount, go back in, mix it up, 
you're decreasing the pigment with the water. Fastest way for me to do this to show you would be just to spray it, but I better not. No cheating. Puddle suddenly gets larger because I'm adding more water to it. And the colours are just lightly changing down. Because French Ultramarine has a really good strong pigment in it. So it'll take a while for this to dilute down. But that's it. Play with your paint. Try it with the red and then try it with the blue. This is just something to keep you going on this wet and windy day. <laughs> just keep adding water. More water, less pigment. The lighter it gets and you come back down the scale again. The values become completely different. My puddle's getting larger and larger and larger. Okay. And you go on and on and on till you get it really, really thin and you get just like this lovely little pale wash. So there you go. Full range of colour from one pigment. Just play with your colours, get to know what they do. You don't have to squirt out lots, just a little bit and it'll work fine for this exercise. Um, talk to you all later. Enjoy playing with your paints. Bye.